Welcome to today's video. Today I'm really excited because I'm going to be doing swatches and two looks with the new palette from Nomad. And if you guys want to see what I come up with and hear my first impressions on this release, then just keep watching. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Heather. I love all things makeup, especially colorful makeup and indie brands. And if you guys love those things too, I really hope you will subscribe, click the little bell so you'll be notified of all my future uploads. And with that being said, let's get into some information on this palette. I really love the outer carton packaging of this. It's so freaking beautiful. I would love to go visit Ireland, but I really love this too. It's got like that felt like soft touch packaging and it has like little four leaf clovers pressed in here. This palette is freaking stunning. I'll go ahead and pull up the swatches and give you guys a little information on this. This palette retails for 49 US dollars. The cause that Nomad is helping support with this release is the Irish Wildlife Trust. They work to raise awareness of Ireland's rich natural heritage and to protect it for future generations, which is really cool. I love that they always support a cause with their releases. This palette is described as a spectrum of Irish greens from soft moss to lush bogs to emerald gems and rich glens sparkled with sea blues and neutral touches of limestone peat and golden flowering plants 11 grand mats and seven splendid shimmers inspired by the untamed and dramatic beauty of ireland's west coast i love the color story of this so much you guys have already seen the swatches but it is absolutely stunning and i'm just ready to get into the palette but let me go ahead and get you guys zoomed in and then we're going to get started with look number one. I have a pretty good idea what I want to do for the first look. I'm really excited to play with some of these greens. I really love like these true green colors that they have here in the palette. I think they're so freaking beautiful. I think I want to start, listen, I'm not going to be reading these shade names off. If I can say them, I will. but. I'm not, I watched someone's video on this palette and it's not, I'm not laughing at them. I'm laughing with them. So please don't take it wrong. But someone Googled one of these, na this name up here and Google did them so dirty. Charmed is one of my favorite shows. So I know that, um, that name is actually like Tante or pronounced something like that. But Google told that other person that this was pronounced as taint. And I laughed so hard. <laughs> like, that's so messed up. But if you know, you know. Not that I always pronounce stuff right. I get it. But Google really did them dirty. So never again will I trust Google and look something up before I make a video. Because now I know. It's just messed up. <laughs> So I want to use this BH Cosmetics shader brush and I'm going to pick up the shade and put it in my inner corner. You know, out of all the palettes I have, I don't have anything with the undertone that this color has. It's very unique and I was really excited to play with it when I swatched this palette today. I think it's freaking gorgeous. But I'm just going to Concentrate this here in the inner corner. And if you guys are curious about any of the products I have on my face in any of these looks, then just check the description box because, as always, I will have it linked there. Now, I want to use this brush from the Glam Light Friday the 13th collection, and I'm going in with this shade down here. As I'm filming this, Lunar Beauty just revealed a new collection they're coming out with, and it's so freaking cool. I really like the palette, and it's mushroom-themed. Apparently, everyone's on the mushroom thing that I'm on because 
I'm obsessed with him right now. And I think the world might be, which is why it's so easy to find all the really cool like mushroom decor, which makes me happy. But I'm really excited about his new palette and the highlighting palette. I'm just pressing this shade here in this outer corner and along the crease. This is so vibrant and beautiful. I really am loving that shade. Now I'm going in with my Singe Beauty E03 and I'm going to just blend this out slightly. I'm just going to go back in with this brush and I'm just going to keep deepening, deepening this shade up. I love the combo. I'm going back in with that shader brush and I'm just going to make sure these two shades blend in together. This would be a really pretty all matte look as well, but you know me, I got to use these shimmers. I've just cleaned off this brush on my E03. Now I want to go into this green called the Wild Rover. And I'm going to use this to slightly blend. I don't want to pick up too much because this shade is a pigmented one as well. And it could easily overtake this look. Now I'm going to go in with my Singe Beauty E04 and pick this one up here. And I'm just going to put this here on the outer corner. And then I'm going to slightly blend. Then going in with my Singe Beauty E04, I'm going to pick up this dark green at, up top. And I'm just going to put this here in the outer corner. I really just wanted to use every green in this palette. But there are so many. And they're all like completely different. So they make perfect sense. I really love this color story. I really enjoyed my last palette I got from Nomad as well. I've enjoyed every palette I've bought from Nomad. But. Color story wise, I think I like this one even more. So I'm super excited. I have it in my collection. Let's do the other greens on the lower lash line. I'm going to go back in with the shade on my E04. I just cleaned it off on my Sigma Switch. But I'm just going to press this in the lower lash line in the inner corner. I love that Nomad puts big mirrors in their palettes too. Just clean this brush off on my Sigma Switch. Now we're going to go into the shade here called Wild Atlantic Way. It's a really pretty cool tone green. Now we're going to deepen it up. I'm going to use my Singe Beauty E07. And I'm going into this beautiful green shade here. And I just want to use this to deepen it up just a little and make sure the lower lash line goes into this outer corner. And then using my Singe Beauty E04, I'm going to go back into this shade up here and I'm just going to use it to blend. This look was really effortless to create. I'm really happy with it. But now let's get into some shimmers. I'm going to go in with my Unearthly Glimmer Grasp. And I'm just going to put this on the lid. Now, using my BH Cosmetics Packing Brush, I'm going to pick up this shimmer up here. It's so freaking beautiful. I love it. But I'm just going to put this here on the outer half of the lid. I'm just going to take it in a little more because I'm going to make it overlap with the other shade that I use. Now I want to go into this shade right here called Savage Beauty. It's like the perfect shimmer for this inner corner shade that I used. I'm just going to place this on the inner part of the lid. I think I'm going to leave my inner corner matte. And here is the look. I'm going to go do the other eye and everything off of camera. 
and I will be right back to show you guys the finished look and then we will get into look number two. And here is the look complete. I really love it so much. In my waterline, I'm wearing the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Punch. I think it's really pretty. I really love the green to yellow contrast that it added to the look. So far, I'm enjoying the palette. I think it's the normal good Nomad formula, but I have only used like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've used eight of the shades in here. There's a lot more to go, but I'm ready to get into look number two tomorrow. Hopefully I get some sleep and can enjoy it a little more, but I think it's beautiful and I'm happy to have it in my collection. But let's move on over to look number two. I'm back for look number two. It's been a few days since I filmed look number one, but I'm so ready to get back into this palette. I already have a look planned out, and I just want to say um, the wind here is really crazy, and I actually film in my attic, so if you guys hear the sounds like my roof is about to be blown off, just ignore that, please. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics shading brush and go into the shade Wild Rover. I'm really excited for this look. I think I'm going to like it even more than I did that first one, which I did like that one a lot too. But I'm excited to just play with this palette again. I don't remember what I used in the first look either. I know what like what type of look I did, but it has been a few days, so I do not remember which shades I used. I probably should look back at that footage, but this look is so completely different that I do feel comfortable with not looking at the footage. Now I'm just going to go in with a little translucent setting powder, and I'm just going to use this to help blend this shade out because... It is quite pigmented on my very pale skin, but I need a needed a lighter green shade for my inner corner, and I really love the undertone of this one. It's super pretty. But now I'm going to go back into that shade Wild Rover, and then I'm just going to build it up closer to the crease. Now I'm going to use my Singe Beauty E06 and go into the shade Emerald Isle and I'm just going to press this into this outer crease. I love this shade so much. I know I haven't used this one yet. At least I think I know I haven't. But I love this shade. It's like that blue green. It's so pretty. Now I'm going to use my Singe Beauty E03, it's just a large blending brush, and I'm going to blend out the shade before I use something else to really blend it out. It blends very easily though, as you can see. Now I'm going to use that same brush, and I just want to pick up some of this blue shade. And this is what I'm going to use to just blend out that uh, deeper mat that I placed in the crease. I'm going to make this outer corner look a little more blue. But you guys, if you've been here for a while, you know that's what I'm all about. I freaking love blue eyeshadow. It's my favorite color eyeshadow to wear. These blend so easily. I really love Nomad's formula their mattes, and their shimmers. This palette would go so freaking well with the Nomad Royal Europe palette. Even the greens would be really pretty with these like more purple leaning shades. They'd go well with the, these two rows as well. And you have these more warm tones in here that you could really pair nicely with this row. That could be a fun eyeshadow look. Maybe I might try to do something with that. I really love that palette. It's one of my favorites and definitely my favorite from the brand. I love this one as well, but I haven't really gotten to use it enough 
to make it a favorite yet, but so far so good. Now I want to go back in to the shade Emerald Isle and I'm going to deepen up this crease. Reintensify. I'm going to switch over to my Singe Beauty E03. The dogs are going nuts over that wind too. So if you can hear them barking and hear my little Luna's bell on her collar, sorry for that too. I'm loving this crease a whole lot. I think I'm going to leave it right here for now. Now I want to do a little work on this lower lash line. So for the lower lash line, I want to go into this Emerald Isle shade again. And I'm just going to do that on my Singe Beauty E04. And I'm going to press this close to as close to this lash line as I can. I'm taking it about three-fourths of the way in. And I'm also going to open up this outer corner a little while I have this more detailed brush. Now I want to use that BH Cosmetics Shading Brush. And I want to pick up the shade Wild Rover. And I'm going to place this in the inner part of the lower lash line. And I'm also going to use it to blend out this shade. Now I'm just going to go in with a little Unearthly Cosmetics Glimmer Grasp and I'm just putting this on the lid. I'm really excited about the shimmers, especially this shade right here. So pretty. I just want to put this on the edge of the mattes so it can be the shade that kind of bridges the other shade in with this outer corner. Then I'm going to go in with this shade and I'm just going to put that everywhere else on the lid. Grab my mirror. Look how well these pair together. I think it's freaking beautiful. I'm going to put a, just a little bit of this down here on the lower lash line too. Now there's nothing in here that I want to use for this look as an inner corner highlight that's really light enough for me that I feel like would really go well with the look. So I think I'm going to pull in my highlighting palette, the one from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. And I'm just going to go in with this smoke brush. It's just a little pencil brush from BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to go into this shade called Transient. It's got that like green shift. It's really pretty. And I just want to put this in the inner corner. I really love this, but I'm going to go do the other eye off camera. And I will be right back to show you guys the finished look and give you my first impressions on this palette. And here is the finished look. I love this so much. I think this one is my favorite. I love the blue and green combo. In my waterline, I used a white ColourPop cream gel liner and I mixed it with the green neon from the Nueva Vita palette. And if you guys haven't seen my two looks with this palette, it is already up, but I love it. I love the neon, what it added to the waterline. I think it really tied this look together. But as for the palette, I'm really enjoying this. There are still quite a few shades I haven't used. I haven't used any of the neutrals in this palette so far. So this is just a first impression. But as for now, I can say the shades that I have used, it is the typical really good Nomad formula. I've had a blast with it. I can't wait to create more looks with it over on Instagram. I just think they did a great job. This is such a beautiful color story. I love that they donate some of the proceeds that they make from these palettes to different causes. I think that's really great. Overall, I just think Nomad is such a great brand and it's one that 
I'm really happy to support and I'm so glad that I picked this up because this palette is truly stunning. And if you love greens and blues as much as I do, and maybe even some neutral pops, then I think you will enjoy this palette too. But let me know down below if you guys picked this up. And if you did, what are your thoughts on it? We would all love to hear from you. It really does help me out and everyone else down below in the comments. Also, let me know which look was your favorite. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really does help me out. And if you haven't yet, I really hope you will subscribe. But until next time, bye.